So now that September has successfully come to a close, if you will, it is time to review all of the things that I purchased for myself through the month of September. Now, September was an incredibly busy month. I'm gonna tease you guys real quick, but I have something upcoming that Zane and I have codenamed The Project. Yes, it is a very secret project. I'm going to be announcing the announcement here in about a week or two after you watch this, so keep your eye out, but this is going to be a huge deal. We're, we're working on revamping the brand, the channel a little bit. So a lot of exciting changes, new updates, and just like a new way to, to interact is coming soon. And yes, my members will be taken care of in the project. So to, to gain extra access and perks, I guess, join the membership by clicking up here, hit subscribe down here and let's dive in guys. Hey, I'm Caleb. Today, we're going to be looking at all of my September 2024 purchases. There's going to be ready to wear from brands like Jay Peterman, Polo Ralph Lauren, Lauren Vintage Abercrombie, like the good stuff. We have some houseware, some beautiful crystal, some bags. I have some new bags from Coach Givenchy, a piece from Fendi, some SLGs. This is going to be a very well-rounded haul. So let's kick it off first with some accessories. Now in September, we have the Labor Day sales and Ralph Lauren did not disappoint. In fact, at the full price, they had an amazing 30% off your purchase. At the outlet, they had some really amazing deals. So I picked up a piece from each, each level of the house, I guess you could say. And first up is this amazing Western belt. Now this came from Polo Ralph Lauren at the full price. After the, after the discount, this was a pretty good deal. Now what I love most about this belt is the detailing. You have this beautiful vegetable dyed leather and all of these gorgeous kind of Western details throughout. This ended up being a really good deal. I'll link it down below if it's still available, but like after the 30% off, I might've paid like 60 some dollars for it. Originally a couple of hundred, so it was an incredibly good deal. So if you can pick up this belt, I've, I've worn it a lot already. It's just like a good neutral belt that kind of keeps the eye moving. It has some interesting details, which I absolutely love. Now from the outlet side of things, I picked up a new hat and I've been eyeing this hat for months. I'm one of those people that, you know, I want something, but I don't necessarily buy it like right away every single time. I was just waiting for a good deal to come around. A good deal finally came. I think it was like 25% off. And I picked up this stunning, stunning, it's a plain khaki hat. I picked up a hat, I bought a hat. What I love about this, this, this color is going to look really good with my hair and my skin tone. I love that the polo guy here is just done in a cream stitch. Same for the branding back here on the back. Now, originally $49.50, so with 25% off, that would have been like, what, 10, 10 or $12. So not like a whole lot, but I never like paying full price for things. So as soon as something goes on sale or has like an extra percentage off, hi, I'm Caleb, I love a good deal. I will snag it each and every time. This is gonna be really good for going into fall. And I think this will even look really cute with my big gray coat this winter. So I'm excited to have a good plain hat in my collection. Now let's kick off the next section. This is going to be ready to wear in apparel. Not to brag, I have some amazing pieces down here for you guys. Now, first up is this purchase from Jay Peterman. I picked up the Gurkha shorts. Were they on sale? 100% yes, they were. Of course they were. But what I love about Gurkha shorts and pants is this beautiful, kind of like belt across the front. Now I did go a size up just because I like when these are kind of more cinched in and kind of balloon out from the waist. I think it's a really cool look. I don't know, like I'm really excited to wear these. And what I love about Jay Peterman, if you guys aren't familiar with them, go check out the website, sign up for the catalog. The catalog is quite literally my favorite piece of mail to get. Like, don't, don't get me wrong, I love my town and country. But I look forward to a good J. Peterman catalog. Those who know, know. I love the sketches of each piece. I love the romance paragraph for each item. On the Dessa scale, I'm an emotional analytical uh, shopper. So anything with like a good romance or background or a lot of information, like hello, 100%, I am there. These shorts did not disappoint. I will link them down below if you wanted to check out their paragraph. But these are just like a really good heavyweight cotton they're nice and long, they're oversized. These are gonna be great for like those late summer months where, you know, we're kind of in that transitional period where it's too hot to like fully dress and like, I can wear this, have a sweater up top when it gets too hot, wrap the sweater around my shoulders. Good casual vibe energy, we're 100% there for it. And I'm thinking one of the sweaters I'm about to show you from Great Britain is going to look amazing with these shorts. So I cannot wait to style that for you. Now, also from the Ralph Lauren outlet, I picked up another two pair of shorts because why not buy shorts when it's cooling off outside? They're cheaper. You can save them for next year. It is, it's just a smarter thing to do is to shop off season, if you will. And first up, I picked up this pair of Polo Chino shorts. These are done in a beautiful blue color. It's just, blue is a good color to have when it comes to shorts. It works with a lot of different colors up top, great with other shoes and things. And these are gonna be so easy to style. And with these being a cheap, no fabric, they're gonna break in and wear beautifully. I don't know, these were a really good deal. They were marked $49.99, but I'm sure I got like an additional 25 or 30% off. So these were literally free. 
They're practically free when, they, when they're that well priced, right? And then I also picked up this pair. These are the classic stretch fit. These are just gonna be really good throw on. They're a shorter inseam, so like, hey, a little bit scandalous if you will, but these are gonna be great next summer and I'm super excited to wear these out. I have a few really good like linen shirts from Ralph Lauren, uh, different Oxfords and things that I think would look really nice with these. And I love shorts that have like a good drawstring here on the front. It just kind of adds a little bit more visual interest, especially in those summer months where you can't wear a lot of layers or something. It just just adds that little extra touch. And I don't know, these are gonna be really good. Now, price-wise, they're marked $89.50. I probably didn't pay more than like 30 something for them. So they were another good deal. Now, next up, let's talk about some knitwear. Now, this month was amazing when it comes to ready to wear finds. I still have a ton more to share with you guys. And knitwear did not disappoint. A couple of these pieces we actually found in the vlog where we went to the Nordstrom last call, last chance, whatever it's called. I still don't know. Check out that vlog though, because there's a ton of good information for your visit. It is literally like six football fields big of gorgeous designer deals and discounts. Just make sure to really check your stuff. Again, I go into more detail in that vlog. However, the first piece that I found there was this beautiful knit sweater vest from Barena. Now, Barena, it's a family-owned brand in Italy, much like Brunello Cuccinelli. Now, the original price for this piece was $410 USD. It's still on their website, so I will link it down below. Sadly, though, this gorgeous navy colorway is not available anymore. So sorry. Did I mention I paid like $30 for this? Like, it was literally a steal. Beautiful construction. I think that their pieces are really good quality, so if you're not familiar with Barena, go and check them out. And I I've actually already worn this. You might have seen this a recent in the city vlog. I paired this with my blue boogie nights from Celine, that bag, the suede with like an all blue outfit, black loafers. It was 100% a vibe. I'm not going to lie. So go and check out that vlog if you haven't. But this is just like so comfy. It's oversized. It's big. It's long. It's fabulous. It's really well constructed. So I will definitely be keeping an eye out for more pieces from Barena, uh, especially even at full price. This is definitely worth the price they were asking for that 410 price. Really well done. But the fact that I got it for 30 30. Amazing. Call me call me deal maker. I will I will answer. Now, quite possibly one of my favorite finds this month. I'm looking down at the floor to make sure I'm not lying to you. Is this sweater? Now I've already worn this in a video with you guys. This is from Polo Ralph Lauren. This is like a beautiful country western sweater. You have the two men on the Broncos up here, a couple of arrowheads, a nice delightful plaid here at the bottom. And these motifs also carry over to the back side. So this was a fabulous sweater. I'm sure if I had bought this full price from Ralph Lauren, it would have cost hundreds new full price anyway. And the fact that again, I found this at the Nordstrom last call, last chance, whatever it is for like 30 some dollars, like I am not mad. So definitely worth the look to go out there look through everything because you're gonna find some amazing deals. And this is gonna be one of my favorite pieces this fall and winter. So you're gonna get sick of it. I'm warning you now. Now this next sweater comes from an English brand called Peregrine. And these pieces are all still made in England, which at this price point, I don't know why Burberry can't do the same. I'm just saying, don't cancel me. Peregrine, absolutely fabulous. This is like a nice thick wool. And I love that this kind of has that military style shoulder up here. Overall, this is gonna be really fabulous. And I think that this would be 100% of with those Gurkha shorts. I'm just saying, I think they'd be fabulous. It's a really good heavyweight knit. I wore this recently on a live a couple of weeks ago with my husband. We were both in like neutral sweaters to celebrate fall season, even though it's still like 70 degrees here in Chicagoland. But if you can find anything from Peregrine, especially at a good deal, I think I found this at Nordstrom Rack. I want to say it was like maybe $60, 60 or 70. So definitely more than the other two knits I've shown you. But for the quality made in England, 100% worth it. Now, next up, I have some vintage Abercrombie to show you guys. And no, that millennials, this isn't like when we were in high school and in middle school with like the crazy sayings on the front, the graphic tees, the moose and all that jazz. This is like true vintage Abercrombie back when they were still making camp wear. This was actually made in the USA. So you know this is a good vintage piece. And this is the Abercrombie big shirt. Now, I actually found this at a thrift store locally. It might've been like $9.99 or something crazy like that. But this is called Abercrombie big shirts, authentic originals 100% quality made in the USA it does have a little bit of polyester in it but I was willing to forgive it for being made in America a big shirt red corduroy like this is gonna look fabulous this fall apple picking or I don't know going on a hay ride do you I don't know what you do for fall but I know what I do so I think this would be fabulous for a few photo shoots and this is just like really good quality Abercrombie and Fitch vintage fabulous and you don't really find these shirts often in the wild so I'm like I, I just have to get that now is the red perfect on my skin tone no absolutely not I'm not like a bright warm color type of person when it comes to what I wear it's going to bring out all my pink undertones again too fabulous not to have and this is going to look fabulous just thrown over like a Henley or like an Oxford this fall and like bumming around in the fields uh, corn mazes I don't know 
pumpkin picking, pumpkin patches. This is gonna come in clutch this fall and I'm super excited. Now, this next piece got a ton of compliments from you guys. I wore this recently, I think in my Hermes big bag comparison. So if you haven't watched it, go and check it out. But I found this at the Ralph Lauren outlet and this guys is so fabulous. So this just has like a beautiful country equestrian aesthetic all over it. You have Polo Ralph Lauren and co right here on the center. This is still in outlets now. So literally run and grab it because this shirt, once they're gone, they're gone. I paid full price. I didn't wanna risk waiting for like a sale and not still be there. So I think I paid like 129, 149 for this. 100% worth it, not mad. And the, the whole aesthetic goes over to the back side of the shirt as well. So just absolutely fabulous. This is gonna look good in fall and summer. It's a nice thick weight Oxford. So it's a really decent quality. And again, go and grab it because you will not, you will not be disappointed. Now, this final piece is ludicrous. It is over the top. Now, if you've been around my channel for the last year and a half to two years, you're going to be familiar with the elusive Eddie Bauer horse vest. Guys, when I first saw this up at the Wisconsin outlets, the Eddie Bauer outlet at Pleasant Prairie, I was like, oh my God, I have to have that. But it's so over the top. I'm like, okay, most people aren't going to pick that up, right? Like no one else is going to be trying to beat me to the Eddie Bauer horse vest at the Pleasant Prairie outlets in Wisconsin. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just wait for a sale. And I waited and I waited. I would go every time we were up in Wisconsin, I'd stop at the outlets just to visit it to make sure it was still there. Sure enough, it'd be there with all like the, the neutrals and the plaids and the more rustic Eddie Bauer stuff that we all know and love. And I'm like, that piece is so fabulous. I tried on just to make sure it still fit, even though it's a size large, it's oversized. So it, it did still fit. I finally, over the Labor Day weekend, decided to pull the trigger. They were having like an additional sale. The staff all had to come and celebrate at the cash wrap. And let me tell you why. So let me just pull it up for you guys. This is the elusive Eddie Bauer x Baja East collab horse vest. It is fabulous. It is down feather on the inside. And yes, the horses in the canyons continue onto the back. It is like a white iridescence up here, black shearling on the interior. And this piece, you guys, is so over the top, so fabulous, so Caleb Snell, it's perfect. Like admit it down in the comments, like this is a Caleb Snell vest 100%. If you say it's not, you're lying, like don't even lie. The staff all came around to celebrate when I finally purchased it because they're like, oh my God, someone's finally buying it. We have literally had that for over three years. This poor vest has been shuffled around the Pleasant Prairie outlet for the last three years. Well, one and a half to two years that we've known about it, like our OG blog watchers have seen this before. You know, they're gonna give me a little bit of an extra discount, but it was already marked down more than what the tag displayed. It was marked at 299 originally here in the US 279 I'm like I need a better deal and like I think the Labor Day sale was like 50% off but it had already been marked down to like 90 or something so I might have paid like 40 50 60 dollars for this fabulous over the top horse vest and I can already see the outfit in my head like it's gonna look very cool very very western I could see this with like my Birkin a black pair of jeans my big western belt and a hat some boots this is gonna be perfect this late fall early winter they were they were cracking up they're like oh my god we've all like tried that on during different floor sets we've all worn it we have crazy stories about the whole collection this is the last piece that's left I think this fall winter when we pop into the 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 Pleasant Prairie outlet I'm gonna have to wear that just so they can see it I have been lusting over this vest for literally a good year and a half to two years and it's finally in my closet where it belongs. <laughs> it's fabulous. So next up, let's talk about some housewares and I got pretty lucky this month. I got some really good stuff. Now let's kick it off first with Lou Creuset. So we popped into the Lou Creuset outlet because listen guys, you can't go up to the Ralph Lauren, Eddie Bauer and Coach outlet in Pleasant Prairie and not hit our favorite store, Lou Creuset. So what did I get? You're asking, love that about you, stay curious. Now, of course we bought another spatula. Now I already have the spatula, but I love it so much. So does my husband. And whenever he makes eggs, it's always dirty. Having a second backup spatula is going to be fabulous here in the home. And I really love this one. It, it fits nicely in the hand. And it, it's just beautifully balanced, good construction quality. Originally it was priced at $36, but we were there for Labor Day. So I'm sure there was like a little bit of, a, of an extra discount or something, if you will. So super excited to have this in our household or another one, I should say. As you all know, we've had two apartment fires, total losses, both of them. And even though the first one, gosh, that would have been in 2008, the second one in 2018, rebuilding literally takes forever. And we did not have an ice cream scoop. I have five Hermes bags, but I didn't have an ice cream scoop. So we picked up an ice cream scoop up at the Lou Creuset outlet. This was originally marked $26. Again, I'm sure it was a better deal than that, but super cute. Just an ice cream scoop. I love my ice cream. Leave me alone. Oh, I can tell you what I paid because I have the receipt here. So the spatula was marked down to, oh, it was 35% off. So we saved $12.60 on the spatula and $9.10 on the ice cream scoop. So who knew? 
exciting stuff. Now, next up on one of our thrifting hauls, I found some, some gorgeous crystal ware. And this I'd actually seen a couple of times. I'd look at it, not really recognize any hallmarks on it. And then finally, I'm just like, okay, this has to be something. I Google searched it on my phone. It was like Cartier. I have found Tiffany before. I have found, you know, Waterford, of course, Wedgwood, all sorts of good brands over at the, the thrift stores. But Cartier Crystal Pitcher, well, that's something I didn't have yet. Well, now I do. Now this piece, it is marked Cartier down on the bottom. How I didn't see that, I have no idea the first few times that I looked at it like I'd pick it up I'm like okay you know that's obviously decent quality like it's something right finally after doing a little bit of searching it is Cartier so this is gonna be perfect on our bar you know throw some mixed drinks in there pour them out perfection it does have a few rings on the inside from the previous owner so I'm going to need to do probably another vinegar bath I just did one this morning but it could use another one but again I paid like what nine dollars for it for a Cartier pitcher so if it has a little bumps and scrapes I don't really mind and I don't know I just love collecting crystals so if you ever come to our home or if you ever see my house here on the channel a lot of crystal throughout the place so I love as I smash my my wedding ring onto it I love crystal and if it's from a good maker I mean that's just that's just bonus right that's it's gravy. <laughs> you. <laughs> Now, speaking of crystal, I found this piece at another thrift store. Again, this might have been like $6.99, I think. It kind of reminded me of American Brilliant. I love collecting that stuff, and it's definitely hand cut. A little bit more rudimentary than like my, my Waterford or my Wedgwood uh, crystal pieces, but overall, super cute, super fabulous. This is going to sit on our media center in the living room, and I don't know, I think she's going to look really good with like some, some wildflowers out the top in the spring, and I don't know, just a really good, you can never have enough crystal vases in your home, okay? I said it, I said it, safe space. Now, from that same trip, I picked up some more salt glazed pottery. Now, I love in my kitchen above the cabinets, I have like a whole rustic country thing going on. So I have a small collection of these salt glazed kind of crockery pieces up there. And this little mixing bowl was just too cute to leave behind. Now, I don't think it's made by any famous maker. In fact, I think it was probably just someone's like project at home or maybe like a smaller local artist. It's just marked either SP or SR on the bottom. I can't really tell. But overall, just super cute, super casual. And, and you can never have enough little bowls around the house. I don't know what I put in my little bowls. I'm gonna say maybe like six bucks, it was, maybe even three dollars. It wasn't much at all. I like little bowls as much as I like crystals, so I'm glad I found this as well. Now, this next piece from the home I actually found at the flea market a couple of weeks ago, and this is made by a local artist. I'll make sure to link her Instagram down below so you can go and check her out, but I absolutely fell in love with her booth when we were walking by, so I'm like, I have to buy something right? And this piece, you know, just caught my eye. I absolutely love it. So my husband, Zane, is originally from Arizona. I love anything and everything's like Southwest, you know, rugged. And this was just too cute. It's just a couple of cactuses with like the sunset behind it on the desert. And I'm like, this is gonna look super cute just hanging up somewhere in the home. I haven't figured out where, maybe even on a Christmas tree, I could do a cactus Christmas tree this year. That's an idea, but no, just super cute, loved it. And it was really well priced for how intricate it is and the amount of detail. So definitely go and check her out. Take a look at her, her Instagram. I think she might even have a website linked on there. So go check it out. Super cute stuff, local Illinois artist. And I don't know, I really love this piece. Now this piece though is quite possibly my favorite of all the housewares. I'm like looking down at everything to make sure I'm not lying to you guys. I would never do that. But this piece, I, I just, I absolutely love. And when I pull it out, those who know, know, like my, my, my OG people, you're gonna know why I love it. And let's just get this out. So I originally found this. We were with our friend Jamie at Lux Petite. We met up to do the Apple Festival a couple of weeks ago. And it was just like a fun, chill day. We ended up going to lunch in another town over and popping into this really cute boutique. And it was all bedecked in Halloween stuff. I mean, which is appropriate. Halloween is just a couple of weeks away the day after the most important American national holiday my birthday I'm just saying but I found this little cutie actually I think my husband might have and I just had to have them you all know I love a good sheet ghost there was that whole saga for a couple of years trying to get the sheet ghosts from the crate and barrel and it was a saga so anytime I see a cute sheet ghost now I'm just like okay just done take my card how much is it I don't care swipe it let's go um, this little guy was only $15. He's glass. He's carrying his little pumpkin. And I just thought this was like the cutest ornament. Now, do I have a Halloween tree? No, don't judge me. He might just look cute in like maybe a crystal bowl or um, maybe I need a ghost tree. I mean, it could be ghosts of Christmas past, right? Right? Help me justify more Christmas trees. I don't think five in the home is enough. We need more. So I need a cactus tree and a ghost tree that makes seven. Perfect. We love a round number. Ghost. <laughs> 
Now, when it comes to video games, you all know that I am an avid gamer. I love my Uncharted, but I also have a PSP and a PS Vita, and I always am looking for new games for both of them. And I recently watched this really good, like kind of deep dive into this game and its background, and I ended up picking it up just because it looked goofy and fun. I picked up Siphon Filter Dark Mirror. This was at one of Zane's favorite stores, Media Exchange 2, $5.99 for a PSP game, still in the box and with its little booklet. Love a full set around here. Not only do I like full sets when it comes to my bags, I like them for my video games too. I said what I said. So super excited to try this out. I need to to first of all find my PSPs and also charge them. They're they're here somewhere. I know they are. I can feel them. I sense them. All right. You have finally made it to the designer section and this section does not disappoint, guys. In September, I bought myself not one, but two bags. I told myself like, ooh, I'm gonna shop my closet. And I have been. I'm actually my Muse 2 this week, so I'm super excited to take that out and about. But when these popped up, they were just too good to be true. Immediately add to cart. One of them, I think you guys are going to go nuts over because it is so fabulous. You've probably never even heard of it. It's a Givenchy, but unlike like the Nightingale, the Antigona, the, the Pandora that I used to have, this is one only a couple of you are going to know about. So I think you're going to go into a frenzy about it, but let's kick this off first with some small goods. So when it comes to coach, I actually tracked down one of my old keychains that I had way back in college. This would have been with my Buick maybe. Yes, I once drove a Buick. But this keychain was absolutely fabulous. So this is just the Heritage Disc key fob. It is in nearly mint condition. So when you find these, typically there's like a lot of color loss on the back of the charms. They're grody, they're scratched up, the white isn't so white anymore. I don't think the previous person used this like at all. So I was thinking this would look really cute. I need to get, first of all, like a dog leash clip in gold to, to attach to this. This would look, is gonna look really cute on like my denim tabby, which I carried all last week and I totally forgot to put this on. So love that for me. But I don't know, like I'm trying to get more into bag charms. Keyword trying, like I'm not 100% there yet, but this is a good start. And just to have like one of the original OG pieces back in my collection, gosh, this probably would have been lost in a fire first or second who knows where this would have gone but I loved this back then and I love the the little sound it makes so I'm super excited to have this back now also speaking of vintage coach and whatnot I got so lucky at the flea market the first week here in October we went to Wolf's Flea Market over in Rosemont at the Allstate Arena I thought I was going to go home without anything fabulous and then right before it started raining this caught my eye so this is a coach agenda again you have that beautiful enamel snap head here on the front I love that motif I wish they'd bring it back quite honestly and the interior exterior you have this bright sunshine yellow interior is in orange and I have been wanting like a good little notebook because a my schedule can get a little crazy it's gonna help me plan things out both socially for the channel for work also I would like to have like a little notebook insert so that way when Zane and I are out and about and like an idea hits us I can scribble this down and we can fully explore it once we get home I paid five dollars for this you guys now normally these are like 20 30 dollars still on the resale market especially in this good of condition like this is flawless and I was like how much and I'm expecting her to be like oh 40 or 50 I'm like oh what about 30 and then she said five dollars i have not gotten cash out that fast before in my life i was like oh okay great here you go she also had like a whole wall of like balenciaga telfar more coach pieces and i wish i had asked more at the time but i was just so excited about this we went back last weekend to try and find her again couldn't find her booth if she was even there again so if you're watching this and you have more of these beautiful deals, please, please reach out. I don't know, I'm super excited to have this and I cannot wait for 2025 so that way I can order a new refill from Coach and get started getting my life in order, planning, who knew? Now, a lot of you watched my Fendi and Coach unboxing, so you've probably already seen this. However, just for posterity, let's do a quick run through. This piece is the Fendi, I think this is called like the statue or something. I know it's in the dove gray. And this is just the Rappy, which I think would look really cute on. I put it on my peekaboo already. I think the colors would, would work really nicely with my dot com, if you will. Of course, we have the Dead Sea Scroll, the, the Walgreens receipt, multi pages of care instructions, which not an advocate for cutting tags off, but to make this usable, that might just be snipped off. Don't hate me. I love the backside. It reminds me of like Emilio Pucci with just these kind of like mod kind of patterns and color blocking on the back. You have these gorgeous Roman statue or Greek statue heads here on the front. So super cute, super fun. The dove gray is what was my favorite of the four colorways they had, but pink was definitely a second close runner up. 
I almost bought that one instead. All right, because you've made it this far, congratulations. Again, don't forget, keep your eye out for an announcement for the project. But before then, let me show you a couple of new bags. So I was able to add into my collection another Bleaker XL tote. Now this is incredibly rare. I had the chambray, stupidly sold it. I'm giving you a synopsis. Stupidly sold it, years later found the mahogany. And then I'm still searching for the chambray. If you see the chambray, please do not buy it. Let me know right away because I need that in my collection. But this came in four colors. There was chambray, which I had, stupidly sold. Sand, which I've never had. Mahogany, which I have in my collection. I carried it a couple of weeks ago. And finally, ink which is this colorway here. And as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I have never even seen this colorway in real life or online. There was like one mention on the purse form, but sadly their photo bucket link is broken. So the photos did not load for this color. But guys, this bag is absolutely fabulous. For more information, go in and watch that unboxing. It's about to tear my arm off because it is a little heavy. If you see chambray, please let me know because I am desperately seeking chambray. <laughs> I need that one so bad. Now this next and final item, this is the Givenchy bag that I've been teasing you about. Now, you've probably never even seen this bag or heard of it, but it is absolutely fabulous. Now, looking back at 2024, you know, I'm I'm reminded that together we've rediscovered our love for the Ralph Lauren Ricky. We fell back in love with the Celine Boogie. And I could see this bag being another bag like those where we're all gonna want one. We're gonna be absolutely rabid about it. And it is so fabulous. And you guys are gonna fall over when I tell you how much I paid. But this bag, you guys, is phenomenal. This is the Givenchy Saka bag. Now this was originally out late 2000s, discontinued by early 2010s, and this was seen on celebrities like Sarah Jessica Parker, Ellen Pompeo, and that's about it. Like there was not much fanfare of this bag back in the day, but I love this thing. It is so smushy, so drapey, so large. It does comfortably fit up on the shoulder or you can just carry it like a big open toe. The bottom doesn't have feet, but I love this extra way that they've kind of joined all the panels together. Interior wise, you have one large slip pocket, a center zip divider, and then a big back zip pocket, and then two huge compartments. This bag could literally fit your entire life inside of it. And it is so Stunning. Now on the exterior, there's literally no branding other than these little Givenchy logos here on the snap heads. I believe the straps are adjustable. However, I haven't tried yet just because this is an older bag. I don't want to wear it out or break it. After a quick cleaning and a little bit of repaint here on the edge coat, this bag, you guys, is absolutely fabulous. I paid $86. I did $86 for this massive patent Givenchy sack a bag. It is stunning. Now, there aren't many examples out there in the wild right now, so whatever is out there, I will go ahead and find link for you down the bottom. Go and check them out. They're absolutely stunning. In fact, there's one right now on the real rail. It needs a minor repair, which I could do for you if you wanted, but it's on the real rail right now. It's the exact same one that Sarah Jessica Parker carried to the set of the first Sex in the City movie in 2008. And I believe there's an exact match to Ellen Pompeo's chain sack, which instead of leather straps was just like a big chunky chain. So go and check those links out down below. Let me know what you think of the Givenchy Saka. Like, is this our next like fun find bag? Is, is everyone going to be wanting one of these? Because I absolutely love mine. I am so excited to carry it. Took a little bit of cleaning. I, like I said, I did a little bit of refurbishment here on the straps, but overall, she is stunning. It's like this gorgeous like patent leather. It's almost like elephant skin. It has a lot of texture to it, a lot of gradient, different colors, browns, grays. It is just a big squishy mess, you guys. I absolutely love this bag. And the fact that I only paid $86 for it, not mad about it. I'm really not. <sighs> that was a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff, if you will for September of 2024. Now listen, this month I'm pumping the brakes a little bit because my birthday's at the end of the month. Of course, you know we're gonna be making the Hermes appointment. I'll try and take you guys along on that if, if I can. We have the members meetup coming up very shortly, so I'll need to go shopping for that. It's gonna be a really awesome October. September was amazing, it was my husband's birthday. I took a week off from work for it. We did a lot of shopping. We did, but I got a lot of really good deals. As you all know, I love I love being smart with my money, finding good deals, steals, things on sale. So I don't think I paid full price for anything other than that Ralph Lauren shirt. Oh, and the Fendi Rappi, like obviously, duh. $86 Givenchy bag makes up for it. Oh, keep your eyes peeled and your ears to the concrete? I don't know. I'm trying to tease the upcoming announcement because we're gonna be announcing the project 
here and probably after this goes out, like maybe a week, maybe two weeks. It's gonna be a fun interactive live. We're gonna be there together at the same time. We're gonna be looking at what's new to come. And I've put, my husband and I have both put a ton of work into this. I actually designed it myself. It's super exciting, a super fun way to kind of re-engage with luxury, fall back in love with it and live a curated, well-rounded life. It's exciting, it's it's nerve wracking. And I, and I hope you all take it, receive it really well because I've put a lot of work into it and I just cannot wait to share it with you guys. So keep your eyes peeled and your ears to the concrete, ears to the ground. I don't know what the saying is, but, but stay tuned, stay focused because I'll be announcing it on my community page and in some upcoming videos, especially like a vlog or something. I just cannot wait to share this with you guys because it is, it's taking the brand and the channel to the next level. It's it's just a stepping stone. Things are gonna get bigger and better and greater from here. Literally cannot wait, I am so excited. So until next time guys, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you on the next one, bye.